iMachine on the iPhone works in exactly the same way as it does on the iPad. The layout is different, but the functionality is the same. If you have a more recent iPhone 6S, then you'll be able to use 3D Touch, and iMachine is one of the first applications that makes use of 3D Touch. From the application on the home screen, if you press and hold on the iMachine icon, you'll see that you're able to basically create a new project or a sample directly from the app. Once you're inside the app, you'll find that you can access the four instrument slots from the bottom here, and if you press and hold on a pad, you get some more options. You'll see here that you can enter step mode, you can enter erase notes mode, and mute pad mode for whichever pad you happen to press and hold on. Down at the bottom here you get the resolution buttons, you can move along to the performance section, you can view the sample record and edit section here, and the browser section here. And inside the browser section, you get an iOS style folder tree of instruments and samples. The keyboard section again gives you two layers of keyboard with light guide, and you can access the scale and chord modes just like you can on the iPad. If I swipe along at the bottom, I can change the performance settings. The mixer is available, it looks quite nice on the iPhone, and the effects section too. Works just like on the iPad, except here because of the slightly smaller screen, you only get one effect section per screen. Again here in pad mode, if I press and hold on any pad using 3D touch, I can enter step mode. And I can program beats and patterns in the same way as I did before, it's just that now I'm accessing them more quickly by pressing and holding using 3D touch. In the next tutorial, Let's go back to the iPad and create a quick pattern.